Hello everybody. In this presentation, let's look at some mechanisms that can cause emulsion to become unstable, that is, to separate into two layers. As you can see in this picture, the milk, which is a simple emulsion, has separated into two layers. Let's start by looking at creaming and sedimentation. This process results from external forces, usually gravitational or centrifugal. When such forces exceed the thermal or Brownian motion of the droplets, a concentration gradient builds up in the system such that the larger droplets move more rapidly either to the top, if their density is less than that of the medium, or to the bottom, if their density is greater than that of the medium. For example, in this picture, the milk in the bottle has from a cream layer on the top under the influence of gravitational force. This is actually the principle in the production of cream and skim milk. To make the separation faster and more efficient, we use a cream separator at the industrial scale, which is basically use a centrifugal force to force the separation of the cream layer from the whole milk. At the laboratory scale, we can use this type of cream separator. Next is flocculation. Flocculation is defined as a process by which two or more droplets aggregate without losing their individual identity. In practical food emulsions, larger droplets, that is larger than two millimeters, flocculate faster, and flocculation is promoted by creaming. Flocculation occurs when van de Waals attractive forces between droplets exceed that of the electrostatic repulsive forces. In addition, rate of flocculation can be affected by the pH and ionic strength of the aqueous environment. Flocculation could lead to coalescence. Coalescence involves breaking the interfacial film and is irreversible. Various factors, such as solubility of the emulsifier, pH, salts, emulsifier concentration, phase volume ratio, temperature, and properties of the film, affect coalescence stability of emulsion. Extensive droplet coalescence can eventually lead to the formation of a separate layer of oil on top of the product, which is known as oiling off. Another type of emulsion destabilization is known as phase inversion. Creaming of an emulsion also increases the tendency of an emulsion to inversion. Phase inversion occurs mainly in special cases, when both the continuous and dispersed phases of an emulsion are liquid, as commonly found in dairy cream. It is common where the volume of the two fluid components is about the same, or the volume of the dispersed phase is larger than that of the continuous phase. The process of emulsion inversion occurs when the dispersed droplets unite, but retain the formerly continuous phases droplets within the mass. Inversion happens in dairy cream when the butter-fed concentration is too high, and the resulting invert emulsion looks much like butter. Commonly invert emulsions look much like a paste or thick cream, and typical examples are mayonnaise, margarine, especially low-fat grades of margarine, similar creamy foods, pharmaceutical ointments, and cosmetic creams. Another phenomenon that leads to emulsion instability is known as Oswald ripening. This phenomenon occurs in emulsions with polydispersed droplets. Collisions between two droplets may lead to one bigger droplet and one smaller droplet. As a result, small droplets become smaller. Eventually, the small droplets become very small and become solubilized in the continuous medium. Oswald ripening is not very common in food system because the oil or fat are not normally soluble in water. In summary, there are several mechanisms that could destabilize an emulsion. These are creaming and sedimentation, flocculation, Oswald ripening, coalescence, and phase inversion.